Hi guys, this is Jack at Jack's Transmissions again. So we made a video showing how the clutch operated and now we're going to show how that torque goes through the gear set. So again, we have basically two gear sets in here. Uh, one is 246, they're independent of each other. One is 246 and the other one is 135 reverse. So if we put the 246 basket, it's flying it onto the 246 cluster, which is this cluster right here, and rotate it, we can see that two, four, and six are rotating independently from everything else in the cluster. Now we look at the front here, we have we find that the two four six shaft is actually hollow inside and the one three five reverse shaft is in the center. So we take the one three five reverse basket, spline it into that shaft in the center, the torque will run inside the two four six shaft here, because it's hollow, and end up down here at the bottom for the first uh, three five reverse gear sets. So we turn those and you see first gear turning. And we have an idler on the back side for reverse so that's not going to turn because the idle's not, idler's not there. And then third and fifth are back here. So when you put your car in drive, uh, first gear and second gear are going to be uh, selected at the same time. So first gear, second gear, and now we take off in first gear, what the car is going to do, or what the clutch is going to do, is it's going to engage the clutches for the B basket and rotate the B basket. So now we're moving in first gear. And now when we shift into second, what the system simply does is it takes pressure away from the clutches on the B basket and then applies the clutches on the A basket for, to engage second gear. So you can see second gear is moving now. If we have the car in uh, normal mode, you can see that this basket is moving faster than this one because this one's still engaged in first gear. But if we're in normal mode, it always has the next highest gear selected. So it'll pull out of first gear and then it'll engage third gear. I can get it by hand. So now while we're in second, you see this basket's moving slower now because it's on a taller gear, third gear. So now when we're in second gear, we want to shift into third, the clutches will let go of second, basically the A basket, and then it'll grab on to the B basket to engage third. And then we take off in third gear. As you can see, since it's still engaged in second, the A basket is still rotating at a greater speed until it pulls out of second, goes into fourth, now that's rotating at a slower speed, and then when you, you're about ready to transfer the power to fourth gear, the clutches will let go of this basket, engage this basket, and then you're in fourth, and, and so on. So that's about it. That's how that works. Pretty ingenious, and it's pretty amazing how you're able to get such a complex system to fit in such a compact form like this. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at sales at jackstransmissions.com. Also join us on our Facebook uh, DCT Owners Group. Uh, where we try to put a lot of these videos up in there uh, as often as possible. Thanks.